Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety, and today we're going over the basics of powered haulage safety, along with some important updates on the new MSHA requirements. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you like our YouTube videos, make sure to check out our video subscription. Powered haulage is an umbrella term that refers to the transportation of materials and people in mines. Using just about any form of rail cars, to haul trucks, loaders, forklifts, and even conveyor belts. It's basically powered equipment hauling people and materials. Accidents involving powered haulage are a major concern in the mining industry causing 50% of all mining deaths in recent years. Most of these accidents are completely preventable. The thing is, there are blind spots and obstructions that can lead to unexpected accidents. For example, in the cab of this haul truck, you can see far ahead, but can you see what's directly in front of you to the side or behind? Haul trucks are so big in comparison to ordinary vehicles, some can drive over trucks, vans, or small buildings without ever realizing it. As you can see, there are huge areas of blind spots, and this example is on the surface with full visibility. There isn't dust, severe weather, or crowding. Things can get even more complicated easily. You can see how that could lead to accidents. Because accidents and fatalities continue with powered haulage equipment, MSHA has updated their rules. These new rules apply to all mine operators and independent contractors that use surface mobile equipment both at surface mines and the surface areas of underground mines. It applies to mobile equipment but does not include conveyor belts. First up, pre-operation inspections. Before you start using any haulage equipment, it's essential to conduct a thorough inspection. Check the brakes, lights, steering, and other critical systems. Make sure there are no loose or damaged parts. Report any issues to your supervisor before proceeding. These inspections are your first line of defense against accidents. Keep a detailed record of your inspections. This documentation not only helps in maintaining the equipment, but also ensures compliance with MSHA regulations. Written programs. The new rule requires a written plan to be developed, implemented, and updated for surface mobile equipment. The purpose is to prevent accidents, injuries, and fatalities. It has to be updated and reviewed at least annually. Along with the written program, you'll need to have schedules and procedures for routine maintenance and non-routine repairs. This might sound like an odd thing to include in a safety program, but safety and reliability go hand in hand. Non-routine repairs are known to be more hazardous, be rushed, and less likely to have the right tools and equipment for the job. Well-maintained equipment is safer and routine maintenance tends to be better planned and have fewer risks. Next, let's talk about seat belts and restraints. This is basic for us on public roads, but in heavy machinery, people tend to get complacent. Always wear your seat belt when operating or riding in haulage equipment. This is one step alone that can be a lifesaver in case of an accident. Especially since fatalities are commonly caused by operators being thrown from the vehicle during a tip over. It's not an option, it's essential. Another important update is traffic management plans. Every mine site has to have a clear, detailed traffic management plan to prevent collisions and other incidents. This includes designated routes for vehicles, speed limits and right-of-way rules, as well as posted signage. Make sure you're familiar with these plans and follow them strictly. Also, know the radio station or communication method so you know what's going on in the mine and can anticipate where other vehicles will be. Look out for and obey all traffic signs and signals within the mine. 
They help to keep everyone safe and organized. Communication and training. Effective communication is really the central part of keeping everyone safe. That way, people know who has the right of way, how to communicate with other drivers, and how to stay safe in and around heavy machinery. Regular safety meetings and training sessions will help keep you updated on the best practices and any changes in procedures. The new rule also requires that people at the mine are trained to identify and address hazards related to mobile equipment. This could include using flags and beacons, signaling to operators, understanding the blind spots, and knowing where it's safe to park. Lastly, let's talk about technology. The 2024 update encourages the use of modern safety systems, like 360-degree cameras, collision avoidance technology, and proximity detection systems. In fact, the operator should help to identify equipment that can help make their equipment safer and also help to implement its use. These technologies can make a significant improvement in safety by alerting you to the potential hazards and preventing accidents before they happen. Make sure you know how to use them properly. Those are the basics of powered haulage safety and the key updates to MSHA's powered haulage requirements for 2024. By focusing more on powered haulage safety and implementing the new requirements, we can more effectively prevent accidents and injuries on the mine site. As always, take care and stay safe. Hi, Rachel from Ally Safety here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Ally Safety Toolbox Talk membership at AllySafety.com. There you'll find an entire library of videos that are created to make safety entertaining. I'll see you there at AllySafety.com.